Hi, my name is Carly Malone and I'm a screen reader analyst here at the Digital Accessibility Centre and today I'm going to be demonstrating for you some of the healthcare providers' websites using JAWS. We're going to start off with the HBF site and we're going to begin on the home page. I'm going to start by looking at the links list. Insert in F7 will take the links off the page and place them into a dialog box. So we're relying quite heavily now on how descriptive links are. Insert in F7. Links list dialog. Find the branch. Find the provider. Make a claim. Pay HBF. F. Family. Family. F. Find out more. Find out more. Find out more. Find the pro. Tele find, find out more. Okay, there are three links here which read as find out more. The links have the same label even though they're pointing at different destinations. This can make it difficult for us to identify the correct link when you're browsing out of context using the links dialog box with JAWS. Therefore, I would like to suggest adding a little bit of text to each of these links in order to provide a unique description of the destination of the link. Okay, I'm now going to move on to look at the search facility. Insert in F5 extracts the forms off the page and places them in the dialog box. So we're looking at how clearly labelled the form fields are here. Insert in F5. Select the form field. 133, 423 edit search. Okay, there is a search after the edit box. But there are a series of numbers before the edit box, which um, would make it more difficult for someone like me to identify that as a search facility. Therefore, I would like to suggest changing the label of the edit box to something like search site or search HBF. That, for us, will ensure that the functionality is conveyed and we understand what the edit box is for. Australia's leading elephant. Okay, we're now going to move on to Medibank. And I'm getting the information that it's a, it's a leading provider. So I'm expecting there to be a lot of information on this site that might be useful to find out about. So I'm going to go on to the headings list this time. I'd like to see how the sections of information are, are put together on the site. Headings are important to us because they allow us to identify how the sections of information go together in the same way that a contents page tells you what all the chapters are in the book. Insert in F6 brings up a list of our headings. Heading list dialog, news ad page, heading, join a better colon one, join 3.9 million people who trust me and with their health and well-being colon three, find the right health cover for you colon three, are you eligible for corporate health cover through your left parent or your partner's right parent work, find out now colon four. Okay, there is a, a main heading which starts at level one, which is fine, we would expect to see that. However, the next heading goes straight to, to an, a H3 tag. This is quite confusing for us because the structure is not hierarchical. So we would expect the next subheading after the main heading to contain a H2 tag and for the headings to, to cycle through on consecutive levels. So one, to two, to three, to four and so on. That, for us, is a more logical structure. Escape. I'm going to find out how easy it is to get a quote. Links with G. Get a quote. Enter. Get a quote. Same page. Okay, so insert an F5 for the form fields. One. Find the... My name is colon left... My age is colon edit. My name... My phone number is colon left... Find cover button. Escape. Blank navigation list of four one. That's fine. visited list two three four list Straight and forward. visited list of three link health insurance. Visited link better health list and link members one hundred thirty link menu. Select my name my age is colon edit enter. My age is colon three four. Tab my name is colon e s t tab my phone number is colon left parent optional right parent edit type and tab find enter. 
if you want, provide your name and number and what questions and help fi find cover button. Find cover about health insurance. Find cover button. Select okay. my name is my find cover. So I've entered the information into the form field so that I can see a mandatory. And it states you that the phone number field is optional. I've pressed the find cover button. However, I have not proceed to the next level. We would normally recommend if there are errors on the page that we are told about them in a text format and in an ideal situation it is useful for the focus of the user to be shifted to the, the field which contains the error. This allows us to correct any mistakes that have been made accordingly and continue with the process of getting the quote. Okay. Internet Explorer. .com .o. Media releases co health and care. Okay, I'm now going to go onto the Booper site. And again, I'm going to see how easy it is to get a quote on this page. Links list dialog. Get a quick quote. Enter. Get a quick quote link. So I'm going to go on to get a quick quote. Link view side dash by dash side. Select search button single rate couple family single parent my date of birth combo unlabeled to edit. I live in combo box compare get a detailed quote button. Yes, apply my rebate. At, yeah. Escape. Okay, view. as you can see, there are uh, groups of radio buttons and checkboxes which can be used to select the type of cover you would like to choose and whether it's just for yourself or for a family member. However, when you're browsing at the context using the form fields dialog box with JAWS, the questions aren't clear when you're browsing. I would like to suggest using a field set and legend. This will ensure that the question is asked when we're browsing using the form fields dialog box with JAWS. I'm now interested in trying to find out about healthcare providers. Links list dialog app find covers by health need app family app app aq app favorite health app find the provider. So we're going to go on to link called find the provider. Enter. Find the provider visited link. List and nesting link. View all tools. And I would like to draw your attention to an image that's present on this page. Control insert and G takes all the images off the page and puts them in the dialog box. Select the graphic images slash find provider underline promo two. Okay, this is an image which appears to be a file path. It's not clear to me whether that image is intended to have additional information. If the image is meant to convey some extra information, then it needs to be given an appropriate alternative text attribute. This means that the same information is conveyed to us as to other users. Hi, my name is Rebecca Morgan. I'm the Keep Your Tester here at the Digital Accessibility Centre. And today I'm looking at Medibank's website. One of the main things for Keep Your user is link housing. This is because it is made for way that a keyboard only user is going to know where the focus is when they're going to a page. On this page, at the very top, it seems to, there doesn't seem to be any link held in. This means a keyboard only user is not going to know where their focus is at any point, meaning they are unlikely to know whether they can access the links or the functionality that the, those links can trigger. As you can see, I'm now on the Get Started link, which is halfway down the visual page. This means that the keyboard on users not going to know whether they can access the rest of the content or not. As you can see at the bottom of the page, there is link hiding. But on some links, as the one that I'm on, it, this colour change is then meant that the text on the link actually cannot be read by a keyboard user. 
meaning that an unlikely to select drink as it cannot see it. I would be trying to try to, to get a quote on here, but I am unsure if I can actually get focus on it as at no point does there seem to be any indication I'm getting focus on the get a quote button. I am now going to demonstrate keyboard only on Boopa's website. I am tabbing through the page, but there's no point. Apart from on the search facility, does there appear to be any visual change on the page? This means that the keep own user is not going to know at any point when they have focus on the links or not. This means that the main functionality of the website cannot be accessed by keep own users. They don't know when they are focused on it or not. This would then deter them from using this, the website in the first place. Hi, my name is Gary Thomas. I'm a low vision tester for the Digital Accessibility Centre. Uh, today I've been looking at some Australian websites. The first one I've looked at is the uh, HBF website. I um, have to excuse me, the logos are a little bit difficult to read. Uh, the first thing I've found with these uh, sites is that there's a lot of grey text Grey text is difficult for vision impaired people to use, even though it's quite a trend at the moment. Um, it does create a lot of problems and sometimes can be the sole reason why a site is inaccessible. So looking at this site, from the top you have a, a series of drop down boxes. Again, the text is quite well contrasted here, however when you mouse over the contrast changes to a, a green and white contrast, which is difficult to read. Further down the page, uh, you see an image, again with grey text, set on a grey background, with an image uh, silhouetted behind. Uh, the main uh, text at the bottom here becomes uh, conflicted with the background image, so you can't read all of the text which is displayed. Again, black text would perhaps be a better option here. Uh, you have these um, images here with supported text. However, but when you mouse over them, although the good background uh, highlighting is there, you can't read all of the uh, particular text because it gets cut off. Again, that needs to be uh, looked at. You can increase the text size. However, when you do this with this particular section, you, you like for instance, couples here, it, it's it's very difficult to try and navigate through that because they conflict with the images next door. Further down the page, there's more grey text. In particular, this this area here. I just cannot read that at all. Um, that is very difficult to read. To a point, if I test that colour, let's try that one again. That's just 2.23 to 1, which falls below the minimum AA contrast of 4.5 to 1. Even that 4.5 to 1 threshold does not guarantee that it can be read. Um, it's quite a low contrast, so anything around in and around that contrast will become difficult to read. Not for all people, but people with vision impairment. In this area here, there are 
icons or iconography, which is quite difficult to decipher. Um, I can tell that's a pair of glasses. I'm not sure what that is. I have no idea what that is. I think that those are blocks that say ABC. Uh, I'm not sure what these two are. The text that's supporting the iconography isn't very clear because of, again, poor contrasting. Now, I can know that these are links because I've gone through the pages before, but what I'm looking for here then is additional visual cues such as an underlining or an outline around just to interact with me to tell me that a, uh, a link can be uh, clicked. To the right of these iconography and text, there's a little what looks like an arrow um, or chevron. Uh, that's too far away to act as a visual cue. Because I've got low proof of vision, I, I can only see centrally. So if I'm looking at that particular iconography, I can't see the mouse pointer, so therefore I'm relying on an additional visual cue, such as an underlining, which will then alert me that the link can be clicked. So these additions are quite important. Again, the green and white uh, font is, is and theme is there, which is, again, difficult to read, even though that... I'm in 200% or 175% magnification. The next page I'm doing is the media bank page. The top line navigation um, has a blue and white contrast, which again is difficult to try and read. Uh, the white text appears distorted against the, the light blue background. Further down the page, you have a green and white themed image with image text. Uh, this again is difficult to read. Uh, the, the head in um, better, I think it reads. Again, difficult to read because the large font makes it difficult to read because of my low peripheral vision, meaning I can only read one letter at a time rather than the word. So I have to piece it together the, the letters to create the word to then read. And again, the green and white theme is further down. Yellow and white is very difficult. Again, the white text is distorted against the yellow background because it offers no support for luminosity of text. Again, difficult to read. The images further up uh, have no additional visual cue. And a border around each of these, when upon mouse over, would again create good interaction and good visual cue for easier access. The use of color again is within these sections here. I'm not sure what they say. So if I increase the magnification up to 200%, very little difference. Uh, if I have to try and strain, that is, I believe, travel. That is an image of a dog, so I believe that is pets. So you can see how much, <laughs> how much difficulty that, that would create due to the lack of contrast. Once again, a border around each one of these sections would alert to me that a link is present and can be clicked. And again, further down the page, the use of colour. Pastel colours in particular are very difficult to, to read on any web page. The next page I'm looking at is Poopa. Once again, colour is a predominant feature of the page. There's blue and white, green and white, orange and white. All the sort of shades which are difficult for vision impaired people to use. Uh, the use of grey text, again, is paramount here. Uh, to a point where if I increase font size here and test the font for colour contrast. You find that the grey text on the off-white background creates a contrast of 3.59 to 1, which again falls below the AA minimum. P 
personally, to have good contrast, I would expect fonts to be have a minimum contrast of about 11, 12 to 1 to give any chance of good quality, prolonged reading. Anything less than that can prove difficult to read with vision impairment and perhaps prevent users from not being able to access the information on the site. Overall, my opinion of these sites are that the main reasons that people may be or find difficulty in accessing these sites is that the, the use of grey text and the use of pastel colours will prevent some users from accessing the uh, information that's held on these sites. Increased contrast will certainly help along with good visual cue upon links. With these improvements uh, the use of these sites would be improved considerably.